Hello everyone, I welcome you back to my channel. Monsoons have come and we have got a relief from the summer. All of us love rains, don't we? But with rains comes a lot of problems like there are digestive issues, plus there is a problem of cold and cough and low immunity. So in today's video, I will be sharing with you food items that you must include in your diet during these monsoons for having a better immunity and a better digestive system. Along with food items, I will also be sharing certain tips for the monsoons which you should include again for having a better digestive system. But before starting the video, if you are someone who hasn't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider subscribing it for getting more videos about a good life and healthy food. And if you are following me on Facebook, do follow my page. The first food item which I want you people to include is turmeric. Turmeric has got many benefits. It has antibacterial, antimicrobial, antifungal and antiviral properties. So we must include turmeric in the diet. If it is possible to include raw turmeric in the diet, if you can get raw turmeric from the market, it will be much better. You must have a hot cup of turmeric milk at the night during the monsoon season as it gives an instant relief from cold and cough and help you fight better the cold and cough. Turmeric has a compound called curcumin because of which there are so many benefits of consuming turmeric. But for curcumin absorption, there is a particular way of consuming turmeric. If you want to know, I have made a video on how to consume turmeric in the right way. I'll put the link in the description box. You may watch it from there. The second on the list is probiotics. And in probiotics, I think curd is the best probiotic that we all know. Probiotics are very important to be consumed in this season. As our digestion becomes weaker, there is a lot of bad bacterial growth in the intestine. And if we consume curd, then there is a boost of good bacteria. So when the good bacteria are more compared to the bad bacteria, you will not face any digestive issues. But make sure that you set the curd in home and even when you are taking it from the market, make sure it is fresh and it is not sour. And the third food group is lemon. Lemon has a lot of vitamin C which is great for boosting our immunity. But how should we consume lemon in monsoons? We cannot have nimbu pani in monsoons. Then what we should have? We can have lemon ginger tea. It is very soothing and refreshing for the throat and for your mind. Or you can have plain lemon tea or lemon with hot water. It is very good. You can add honey also. Adding honey to your lemon water will soothe your throat. And it is a very good and effective remedy for treating cold and cough. Now let's come to the fourth food which we should include in our diet. And the fourth food is Indian Masala Chai. All of us love Masala Chai. But I will give you more reasons to include this particular Masala Chai in monsoon season. The Masala Chai would comprise of masalas like ginger, clove, cinnamon, cardamom, tulsi and dried black pepper. Cardamom and cloves are effective against many infections. They are very good in fighting infections. Peppercorns prevent and soothe the symptoms of cold and cough. Cinnamon also has a lot of health benefits. If you want to know the different types of cinnamons, I have made a video on that. You can watch that. I'll again put the link in the description box. What are the types of cinnamon and which type of cinnamon should we consume? And the last but not the least food group we should include in our diet is a mix of herbs. We should include ginger. We should include garlic in our diet. Including ginger and garlic is very effective. Garlic is a very effective antiviral, antibacterial and antimicrobial properties. So it is very good. We should add enough food. We can consume it raw. If you want to know it, why we should consume it raw and what is the correct method of consuming it raw, again I have made video on this topic. So you can find the link in the description box. That is why I was saying, please consider subscribing to my channel as I constantly upload videos about the health issues which we normally face. And the aim of my channel is doing little little things but in a correct method so that we can reap the maximum benefit of what we are doing. So consuming garlic in curries or in raw form is very good in monsoon as it is great for boosting our immunity. Ginger is an excellent herb with antibiotic, antimicrobial and antiviral properties. 
and we must include ginger in our diet again in curries in our chai and if we are having sore throat or having cough what we can do we can have a tablespoon of honey along with ginger juice it is very effective in soothing the throat especially to the kids also when they say they have a sore throat or they are having any kind of cough then do try this on it will be very helpful during monsoons and the last herb which i want you people to include is ajwain or cayenne seeds we can have ajwain ka paratha and even we can have ajwain water ajwain is very effective in treating all the digestion problems so we must include ajwain in our diet this was all about the food which we must include now i will also share some tips we should follow in monsoon so that we don't get ill or even our children don't get ill we should always eat fresh food prepare fresh food and if you are keeping the food at room temperature for 2 hours without refrigeration in monsoons there is a lot of bacterial growth so there are chances that you may get a stomach infection so whenever you are preparing food make sure that you prepare fresh food don't eat stale food and the second tip is that don't eat uncooked food whenever you eat uncooked food there is a lot of bacterial growth in the veggies so you should avoid just avoid eating uncooked food especially spinach coriander we must not eat spinach during monsoons as there is a lot of bacterial growth on the leaves of the spinach even coriander uncooked should not be used if you want to use coriander in your curries then make sure that you cook it along in the curry after thoroughly washing it so avoid uncooked food especially green leafy vegetables like spinach methi or coriander and the third tip will be avoid seafood we should not consume seafood during monsoon and if you are non vegetarian and cannot live without it then you can include eggs or chicken in your diet and the last tip will be we should avoid excessive oily and chilly preparations during monsoon i am not saying to just skip the pakoras you can have it and you must have it during monsoons but once in a while if you keep all these things in mind you will enjoy monsoon to the most and you will not fall ill and with this i will just end the video if you like the video do hit the like button and share the video with your family and friends i thank all of you for watching my video and once again if you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing it I will see you all in my next video till then stay healthy and blessed bye bye